Well, we made it down here again. So today I'm gonna be hitting a beach that I haven't hit since summertime. And during that summertime, it was already pretty uh, cleaned out, looted, you know. Not much there. Uh, somebody beat me to it basically. Every time I went <laughs> to this beach, a little water down there. <laughs> they had to make it go underground because they have a tunnel here. Anyway, somebody was asking me, how do I know which beach to go to? I don't. I really don't know what beach to go to. But I do know that um, I check the tides. I check the wind. I check the weather, basically. Wind included. Uh, the waves. If there's waves. And then, um, if I could give you a helpful hint, uh, when the waves are big or you got a storm and you've been on a beach that has a cut before, we'll go back to that beach because it might have a cut again. Now, that's not always, but it could possibly have a cut again. So that's kind of what I do. Kind of a guessing game. Uh, put all the, the weather and waves and all that factors together, the tides. And I come up with a beach. And if, and if it's just like another regular day and no weather, no wind, no nothing, I go to a beach like I'm going to today. Uh, a lot of tourists go to this beach. They have a little rental houses down here you can rent and uh, it's just a possibility somebody could lose something and I could find it <laughs> it's just metal detecting right there and uh, I'll show you guys when I get down there All right. Christmas tree down here isn't that cool on the beach Christmas tree on the beach get a closer look uh, wow, it looks really good down here. Uh, there's, uh, there's rocks down here. All the sand is gone. Um, yeah, right in this area here. Looks really good. That doesn't mean it is, but it looks good. And there's a cut right in front of me. Oh, uh, let's get started. I'm excited. Doesn't mean there is anything, though. But conditions are perfect. Got a cut. Sand's low. I've never even seen it down to the rocks here. So uh, we should do good today. All right, I checked along the cut. Couldn't find anything. But down by the water here, there's a signal. It's between 12 and 13. It's, it's probably junk because it's jumping around. Yeah, 14. Pull tab probably. All right, let's see what it is. I don't know what that could be. All right, let's throw it up here and see. There it is. Uh, it is... Well, well, <laughs> I think it's a wore down penny. What the heck? Actually, I don't know what that is. Uh, we'll take a better, closer look at that when I get home. Might be a really old penny. No, it's just a regular copper penny. We're down to nothing, so that's good. Uh, here's where I'm at, right by the water here. And I still got, I just made one line down to the water. After going along the cut there, I went down then turned, and that was my first signal. So let's keep going, maybe we'll get some gold today. All right, I get, I'm getting a lot of low, little chirps here and there, but this is a good one here, solid 18. So I'm going to look for some more solid sounds and dig those. <laughs> but I'm digging in rocks. 
Oh, that one was not that deep. See, now it's choppy too. That's solid 18 again. I think I see it. Oh, it's a penny. So, it is a penny. Just got a lot of crust on it. That's okay. Let's keep going. 1716, solid sound though. Alright, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think I see it. Yeah, just another penny. Yep, shield penny. Zinc. All right, I gotta turn the camera on because it's eight, ten, six. Good clean sound. I'm not getting frustrated. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Rocks are never fun to dig in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Still a good sound, though. Just clean, clean, clean. When I say clean, it means it's like not breaking up at all. It's just boop, boop, boop. I'm sure you guys can hear it. Come on, baby. There it is. She's out of the hole. Let's take her up here. All right, got a solid nine, eight, ten. <laughs> I think I see it. <laughs> Wow. It rang up low, but it was a spoon. It's kind of weird. It would ring up that low. Anyways, I knew it was a clear sound. Well, I just dug that sp I just dug that spoon and look at that. Solid 11. No bouncing around, nothing. It's a solid 11. That's got to be gold. I mean, it's got to be. Come on. It's just solid. None of my sounds have been that solid yet. It's not bouncing around. Nothing. And 11 is my favorite number for gold. Besides 20. If it's 20, it's a man's big ring. Ah, I see it. Well, I don't think it's gold. Just a piece of copper. Oh, wow. 20, 21 penny sound. But the stuff I've been pulling out here, out of here is kind of weird stuff.
What the heck? I don't see it. Maybe because it's not a penny. Is it that? I think it is that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know why I'd ring up like that. Oops. Dropping it all over the place. Huh. Nice piece of aluminum. Alright, I just dug something out and it looks like jewelry. <laughs> Let's pick it up and see. Oh, it is jewelry. I think I broke it. It's uh, one of those bracelets that are stretchy band. Uh, but we'll check it when we get home. I see a lot of copper, but I see stones. That's pretty cool. Alright, I wasn't even going to dig it. I thought it was a penny. <laughs> My first piece of jewelry. All right, I just dug a penny right here, but there's a 24, not quite 25, so it might not be a dime, but if it is, it'll be my first of the day. Yeah, it's just 24. Not a dime. Nice copper penny though. Oh well. Today's gonna be the penny day, I guess. I still am dying to get up to that cut again. Because it goes all the way down. And I can just work that and I won't have to dig through these rocks. <laughs> of course there might not be anything over there. That's right in front of those uh, cottages. All those houses right there are, are condemned. They're so old. But the cut out in front of it, maybe there's some old coins out in front of it, so we'll, we'll check it out. I don't think it's deep enough, though. Um, there is a cut on the beach, but the sand is still kind of high, I've noticed. I can judge it by looking at those rocks over there. And I've seen the sand a lot lower on those rocks. So, that being said, I don't um, think I'm going to get any old coins, but possibly. All right, this will be my last one that I'm gonna do live. For now, I'm gonna, after this, I'm just gonna dig and then show you guys. Cause it takes too long for each one. This is a 10 though, nine. We got the right sound. Kind of mixed in with a with a high tone though, so kind of hard to judge it. Yeah, perfect ten still. Hear that? It's like beep. Low tone. And the high tone's eleven. <laughs> Uh, let's see what it is. That's really weird. Huh. 
Wow, I could not find that. It's a really thin coin, I believe. I don't know though. No, it looks too square. Piece of copper. Oh well. Well, I'm down here by the condemned houses. And, uh, man, if I could just get over there and metal detect, I bet I could find some real treasures. <laughs> At least some old ones. But uh, I think they plan on restoring some of these. They look like they're going through right now and uh, checking them. Which, probably checking to see which ones are uh, good enough to restore. And uh, that'll be cool when they, if they do. I mean, cool for them, but <laughs> I'll probably never stay in one. I live close enough, I could just go home. <laughs> uh, I'm down here on this cut, though. Not finding anything. I don't know if it's just the conditions right now or if it's already been hit. Um, so I'm going to keep going. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll find something. I did get that one piece of jewelry already. Let's get back to it. I just got a key. All right, let's do a little side adventure. <laughs> let's go up in this little, uh, it's like a little canyon along the cliff. Not good to go along these cliffs, but I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. Um, I'm only gonna be up here for a second. The chances of something falling on me are hopefully slim. But I see something in the rocks up here. I probably don't even need to take to my metal detector, but. You never know. I'm gonna swing it around up here a little bit. I think I see shells that I want to check out. Uh, wow, look more open than this. Ugh. The lifeguards see me up here, they're gonna come and yell at me. Get out of there. Dangerous. Uh, let's do a quick swipe up here. I mean, I don't think there's going to be anything, but yeah. I always hope for like a meteorite or something. Piece of gold. Uh, what I was going to check. Uh, I think it's just, you see in the wall there, the lines? It looks like salt. I thought it was shells. But I think it's just salt, like this right here, see the white, I was going to lick it, but I don't think that's a good idea, anyways, I'm out of here, only view from where I'm at, pretty nice, alright, let's get out of here, before we get in trouble, Here, I'll, I'll go ahead and climb down with you guys on. If I fall or something, that'll make for a good video. Oh, oh. <laughs> the reason I'm saying ow is my shoes aren't really that thick. So, they're like wetsuit shoes. So when I step on these rocks, it's like pushing, needling through. Ay. That's it. That wasn't hard at all. Ta-da, we're back on the beach. All right, let's get back at it. So I went along that whole cut all the way down past those houses there. The cut ends right there, but it starts up again there, just very little. So I'm gonna work the water line now and probably just work my way out of here. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. But you never know where gold's gonna be, so let's do it. <laughs> I was just giving up hope. The eight, nine, barely ringing up. 
And look what it is. I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's not a ring. What is it? Looks gold. Oh, I see a diamond. Oh, it is a ring. It is a ring. It's broken. Oh, see the diamond right there? It's a big one. It's broken. Uh, it's okay. I hope it's gold. It looks gold. Oh, uh, it broke right there. If it's gold, there's a good chance that it could be a diamond. Wow, it really looks like a diamond. Should I get out my loop or wait till I get home? I'm not sure what to do here. See if I can eyeball a mark. Oh yeah, I think I see something. Wait. Nope. I don't see anything. Oh, uh, let's just wait till I get home. Or maybe not. I'll just check it right now. I'll turn the back camera back on and tell you if it's real. I mean, it rang up like real, so... Well, maybe I found a good area. This is right by the ring. I got the ring right there. And I just got this quarter right here. And I have dug a dime already, too. I think I got some silver. A little chain or something. Uh, looks like it has a tag on there. So maybe I can read it. Huh. Maybe earring, I don't know. Figure I'll do this one live. Sounds like a quarter. Actually, it sounds like a silver ring. But... Yeah, 29. It's probably a quarter. I don't know where the heck it is. What the world? Maybe it's against that rock. Yeah, it is. And look, it's it's round. I don't know if that's a ring, but it rang up like one. Could be a little ring. Oh, it is. It's, that's a ring. That's a silver ring right there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, back to a stopwatch. Probably copper, but hey. I'll take it. Well, it's got another ring. I found these kind before. I think that's copper. Well, I'm out of here. Got a couple rings. Uh, look at they got candy kings here. Uh, Christmas on the beach. It's California Christmas right there. I love this little house. It's got that 50s colors on it. And then we got a Christmas tree right here. Can you believe it? I'm gonna try to get somebody to take my picture in front of it. Oh yeah, and there's got little uh, little reindeers. Little reindeers. And you see my metal detector right there, right behind the tree. Let's see if it's real. So smell it. Oh yeah, that's real. Real tree. Look at these wheelchairs right here. You can go on the beach with them. Pretty cool. Uh, I could take my brother down here. They even have a seat belt, so that'd be perfect. I can whip him around and he won't fall off. <laughs> I was gonna take you into this little gift shop here, but my feet are all sandy and stuff. I don't wanna go in there. All right, it's time for the wrap up. Um, where to start? I got this uh, bracelet thing, and there's two pieces of it. I probably chopped through it, but 
I don't know. That's like a, still a circle right there. But it could have been a double, like, double bracelet, you know? Uh, it doesn't look like anything. I really haven't looked at it, though, so <laughs> I could be wrong. I got a key, a spoon, a spoon handle, or fork, I don't know. Uh, the back to a stopwatch, which is pretty cool to find. There's actually a design on there. You probably can't see it, but there is. Those little swirl things. Little swirly things. And I got some batteries in a pack. Actually, sometimes I pick up these shells, like if I find weird looking shells. It's like a fossil, it looks like almost. Uh, this was actually a really clear rock when I picked it up. Not so clear anymore. Uh, I got about 14 pennies, one dime, two nickels, two quarters, and then there's this coin. I don't know what it is. I see gold right there, though. And when I look at it through the loop, it is copper. I can see it on the edges. But I can't make out what it is. It's real thin, uh, bigger than a penny. But I, and I don't know what it is. When I was rubbing it with my finger trying to figure it out, I could bend it if I wanted to. Because it started to bend and I, I said I better not do that. <laughs> Anyways, I got this little silver ring here. Which I was really happy to find. <laughs> Uh, I haven't cleaned it up, so I can't see where it says it, but I'm sure it is silver. Because it's just black like silver. Same with this. You know, when you find silver, it looks like this. You know it's silver. Uh, copper looks like this. It's a little ring, a little wave ring thing. Little wavity wave waves. And then I got this ring here. Which, it had no markings on it or anything. So I was thinking, ah, uh, it's got to be fake. Because yeah, a diamond is just too big, you know. That diamond's too big to be real. And so I got home, and I put my diamond tester on the diamond. And boom. It registers real. So I'm still not convinced. <laughs> I break out my gold tester. Scratch it on there. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Put the drops on it. 14 karat gold So it doesn't say it, but it is real. That's a nice diamond Too bad. it broke it. I probably broke it. I'm not gonna say I did but I probably did uh, So I got a diamond ring that's gonna be worth a couple dollars and That just made my day before I even knew it in fact I didn't even test it till yesterday yeah yesterday and I still hadn't tested the gold. I tested the gold today. Uh, I went three days ago or two days ago. And anyways, I'm extremely happy. <laughs> that was a surprise because I was certain that wasn't real. It just looked cheapo to me. Like not very nicely made. But it's probably because I ripped it apart. Otherwise, it would probably look pretty nice. <laughs> Anyways, what a great hunt that was. Christmas tree on the beach. Beautiful. Oh, man. It is raining today. Rain, rain. It's everywhere. <laughs> and Jordan's trying to get me to go down there. Uh, yeah, here's a little tractor. It's all crazy. But I don't know what beach to hit, and he doesn't know what beach to hit. So it's like really hard to find a good beach to hit. Um, anyways, um, I am not gonna call the winner yet. I'm gonna do it next video. Yeah, the winner of the, the other ring. I think I'm gonna wait one more video. If I go today, I'll call the winner. All right. Or if I don't go today, maybe I'll just make a, a video of the winner and then delete it, you know. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.